All right, I've put it off and put it off. Uh, it's time to go get the glass tron out of, uh, out of storage. The uh, it's now mid-May, and uh, I've got to get it ready for uh, sale. I got to clean it up. Uh, we put it up last. And didn't forgot to scrub the deck. I was looking at it yesterday and. Uh, it's kind of dirty, so we got to get in there and scrub it. Uh, you know, give it a good washing, give it a good polishing. Um, you know, all the the, st the standard stuff when you dewinterize. I got to change the oil, and um, uh, let's see what else. I checked the points before I put it away, gapped those, made sure they're okay. Spark plugs are new. Um, pretty much just uh, change change the oil and um, uh, put it all back together. All the hoses, put the outdrive back on it, grease the outdrive. Uh, I'll show you all how I do that um, and then uh, clean it up real good and then if we have time today and if it doesn't rain it's uh, we had a, about two inches of rain here yesterday and uh, which we direly need some of our lakes um, one of the lakes south of here which is Cedar Creek Lake is actually almost four and a half to five foot down and I can actually walk underneath some of the docks down there but um, uh, our lakes are okay. We're about half a foot low at Lake Louisville and a uh, foot low at Grapevine, I think. But uh, other than that, um, you know, we needed that rain big time. So anyway, we got anywhere from two to three inches yesterday. And today we're supposed to get a little rain this afternoon, but not quite as much. So I'm going to get the boat, uh, taking a day off of work to spend basically getting it ready for, uh, put it up for sale or auction or something like that. We'll see. Because um, uh, honestly, I need the funds. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've... Uh, put a whole bunch of money into this sea ray and I want to make sure that we have uh, enough funds to finish it and finish it right so with that being said I'll uh, show you where it is we'll go up there pick up the boat bring it back and uh, spend all day fixing it up all right we're here I just dropped off my trailer at its parking spot look at there Woo -hoo! yeah a little water I told you we had a lot of rain yesterday anyway so I'm pulling around in my storage unit we had to move it, I don't know if you remember or not, but uh, we had to move it over to the um, uh, to the indoor thing because the cover, the tarp broke. All right, here's something I think is ridiculous. These rolling advertising. It's all this truck does is it rolls around and does advertising all the time. You talk about a waste of gas. Everybody talks about fuel problems and all that kind of junk. That guy does nothing but drive around and advertise. Seems like a waste. Oh, somebody's parked in front of my unit. It's my neighbor. He's uh, starting a little business and uh, I'll have to ask him to move so go visit a little while as you can see I got the boat in tow um, the camera started jacking up again and wouldn't record whenever I opened up the uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it the door so I got her hooked up got her ready to go we're he headed back to um, headed back to my house see what we can do all right I'm back home and uh, getting ready to start changing the oil what I did to start with is put all the hoses back on. Um, I'd pulled all the hoses off. Now I've got to find all the little connectors and such and uh, tighten them back up, make sure they're leak free. And then I got to squeeze my butt down in here and loosen that um, drain plug hole and drain the, the oil out. And like an idiot last year, I didn't use one of those nifty little drain plug tubes it has the tube that you can yank through your your hole uh, the, the transom hole and drain it that way didn't think that far ahead and so therefore I got to drain it into a bucket and then pull it out through the bilge here so I have placed underneath the in the back I've placed an extra catch can just in case it spills a little bit and uh, I'm gonna put my lifty nifty little red bucket underneath there which I do believe is pretty close to five and a half quarts which is about what's in this motor to begin with <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is take this and slide it up underneath. I need to make sure I can get it out of here before I go trying to do all this mess. Because if I fill this full of oil and I can't get it out, I'm going to have some problems. Oh, I did what I really didn't want to have to do. I had to drain the oil into the bilge and then let it go out the back. And uh, it's uh, still draining a little bit. It's not the way you want to do this. It's not the proper way. Uh, you can use the pump out of the dipstick on the other side, but I don't have one of those and it doesn't pump everything out of this oil pan. I wanted to drain everything since it's been sitting all winter. Um, so it's just going to be requiring a little extra cleaning on my part and the oil filter would not come off. It's pretty common on these things. They get kind of stuck on. So I had to use a screwdriver to puncture it and then uh, undo it. So moving along, um, a lot of traffic on this road. Can't pull in my driveway because uh, 
the other boats there and they might get in the fight. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna continue, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change oil. Uh, I'm gonna go run and put a charge in this camera because it's about to die. And then uh, hopefully we'll do a first start up here in a little while. All right, we're hunkered down here behind the boat. Two good reasons. We need to put the outdrive on and the wind's blowing like freaking crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what we do to get the outdrive ready to put on. Um, first things first is we gotta grease all the little fittings. So what you do is you find all the little Zerk fittings, which are like right here, right here. And there's your gimbal, which is the gimbal bearing, which is down there. Uh, I think there's one on the bottom. And then you have the two U-joint um, Zerk fittings on each one of the U-joints. You wanna squeeze some grease in them till you see just a little bit of grease come out of the cups. Uh, also check your, your play in your U-joints, uh, make sure that they're okay. Um, you also want to make sure that the shifter up in the boat itself is actually full forward on these alphas because what that does is it aligns this little detent right here being straight forward and it aligns with oh, if you can see it this little sucker right here so that means it's in full forward and if it's like that it's in neutral and if it's all the way that way it's in reverse so we want to make sure that it is completely in uh, forward and you may have to move the the prop a little bit to kind of get it into its place. So, that being said, that is done. Um, you also need a gasket kit, which is right here. A little bit of Vaseline, because the Vaseline will help hold this gasket into place so it doesn't fall over the place. Because if you tear it, you go buy a whole new gasket. And these two little O-rings slip over your shaft right there. And then this little O-ring goes inside here. So make sure you take out the old one of these, otherwise your drive will not go in all the way. And then you slide it into here, just like that. And you wanna check your gimbal. And we just replaced the gimbal bearing last year, so it's all good to go. Let me see if I can show you what I mean by the, uh, see how that little green stuff kind of pooped out right there? Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, no it's not. Um, this took actually six pumps to get that to come out on the gimbal bearing inside there. Uh, so you want to make sure you get them good and full because the gimbal tends to shed, shed that, bear, that grease. So we got all this done. You also can see how it's kind of pooped out right there. Pooped out on the other side. So make sure you find all the little Zerk fittings and make sure they're good and greased. Got the two little O-rings on. Here's a little tip. When you're sliding on the O-rings, don't try to make the first one actually go to the second one. Let it drop into its first hole and then slide the other one down and then let it pop over and drop into the second hole. It'll save you a whole lot of headache. First time I changed one of these things, that's what I did is I tried to get the second hole and I ended up ripping the O-ring. So, little tip there. And then now we need to take our spline grease, which is right here. It's recommended to use spline grease. Can you get this cap off? Because, it's supposedly a little bit different. I'm not sure if that's a bunch of malarkey or not, but um, this is uh, spline grease. It's designed for engine yokes and couplers. If you don't put this on the end of your, your engine yoke or your coupler or your splines, you're gonna have problems. And you wanna put them on this spline and your prop. Now I've already installed my prop, so I put some little the spline grease on it, and all I do is I take this, stick it up here, just go in, bleh, rub it on real good. Because if you don't do this, you're gonna have problems down the road. It can actually burn out your engine coupler. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and greasy. So that's done. Now here comes the hard part. We've got everything ready to go. Now I gotta lift this sucker up and slide it in. And uh, this can be a two person job, but I think I'm gonna be all right. We'll try it. All right, that's about the best view you're gonna get of this try to get this thing on by myself. Okay. I'm gonna get the shaft in there. the shifter in. Uh. 
probably going to have to get the jack. Jack up the back of this boat. <clears throat> I can't get it level enough. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to jack the back end. I can't get the bow of this boat down low enough. You need it kind of pretty much straight in or straight shot. So I'm gonna get my jack and jack this up and we'll approach this again in a second. You gotta work on trying to get this stupid thing lined up. Now, kind of give it a little bit of a spin. Which direction? Whichever. All right, so I got it to slightly go in a little bit. Uh, what it was is I had a little binding going on on which way the the steering was, so I'd make sure it was nice and and uh, even. And we need to get back here and see if it is lined up still. Make that little sure that detent's on there. Alright, I'm real sorry I didn't videotape it, but I ended up getting it on. Um, <laughs> my wife was helping me and it just so happened to, to kind of slip on when we were muscling around with it. We kept having a problem as it didn't want to go all the way in and what that usually means is inside your, your splines are not quite lined up right to go into the engine coupler. So you have, to, you have to spin your prop to be able to get it. Problem is every time I spun my prop it jumped out of gear because the little detent wasn't lined up. So. It just takes three or four times and a lot of cussing and sweat and tears and all that kind of junk and it'll it'll go. Just take some practice. Um, so we got two bolts in there, double checked everything, I'm gonna put the rest of the bolts on and then uh, put my trim cylinders on and then uh, test everything, put the battery in. And once again, the battery's dying on this camera so I'm gonna go put it on there in a charger. But uh, the outdrive is on. All right guys, here goes nothing. I've doubled and tripled, triple checked everything, all the connections, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit more and we're gonna see if she starts. Now she's got a whole bunch of, of uh, um, what do you call it, uh, fogging oil in it so there's probably gonna be a lot of white smoke and everything like that. I filled it with oil. I'm gonna check one more time before I start it. So here we go. I forgot one thing. Uh, I forgot to put the um, little bungs in the, the risers so they're leaking water. So I'm gonna go put those in and we'll start it back up again. All right, here we go on try number two.
well, she's ready for uh, sale. We're actually cleaning it up right now. My wife's in there with a scrub brush going to town. And uh, we're going to clean out the deck really good and uh, go put her back up for uh, in the storage because it's getting late and it's cloudy. I'm not taking her to the lake today. We'll wait till we have a pretty day next week or something. We'll pull it out and uh, take some pictures and uh, get it ready to go up on either eBay or Craigslist or something like that. So I guess now I'm taking offers. <laughs>